In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the theming of the Raspberry Pi OS. It comes to you without the ability when you first start it up and you look at the different menu items as I'm going down here, you're not seeing any choices to really change the theme or the way the windows and everything look. If you know anything about Linux, you can make a Linux desktop look like anything you want it to look like. Uh, in this case, we just need to go in and change one little thing. We need to go in and add something to the menu that's there but not visible. So we're going to go into and down to Menu Preferences and we're going to go to Preferences and we're going to go clear down to the bottom and we're going to turn on Theming. And once we do that, we can go back, open the menu up again, go down, and go clear to the bottom, and there is theming. Now you can do all sorts of things with theming. You can change the uh, look and feel of everything. You can change and I'll make a bunch, some changes here just so you can see. But have a lot of fun. Play with all these different settings and see what you end up with. If you don't like it, go back and change them again. Very simple. By checking and unchecking that box, we got colors. I'm not quite sure how that was supposed to work. As, uh, I'm not real familiar with this particular uh, desktop. But as you can see, uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how you can add do different cursors, how you can add different icon sets if you don't like the ones that are in here. You can change those. And I'll show you how to widen up the uh, border so that uh, if you get something you don't like the look of, you can usually find a way to, to change it so that it looks right. But just go through and make different changes uh, and try them out. Now, as you've probably remembered or you have noticed, there are other things you can do to change the look and feel in uh, your Raspberry Pi desktop. You can, for example, change the wallpaper. Change where the menu bar is. You can move it from the top to the bottom. In my case, I kind of liked it at the top, but if you want to move it to the bottom, there it is. I'll move it back up to the top. And as I said, you can change the wallpaper to different things. And you can change the sizes of some of the items. Lots of wallpaper to choose from, lots of different looks. Uh, you can Try out different ones. See if you find one that you uh, really like. If you can't find one in this list, I have a video that will show you how to bring in wallpaper from other um, from websites, free wallpapers. And you can really change. Then you can really jazz up uh, the look of your desktop. So look for my jazzing up the web, the Raspberry Pi desktop. Uh, some of these I like, some of them not so much. Uh, but just go through and take a look at all the different wallpapers that they have available. Uh, some of them look a little macintosh -y. Uh, Some of them remind me of some of the wallpapers I've seen on Windows. Uh, that's a nice peaceful one. Uh, the names are a little misleading sometimes. You just think something is... <laughs> doesn't sound very interesting and then you open it and go oh my goodness and that's the case here for me i really like this uh, wallpaper uh, anyway you can go through and make changes and uh, change the theme change the wallpaper put the bar at the bottom if you like the taskbar uh, if you found this video to be informative or interesting please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos about the Raspberry Pi, things you can do to it, uh, 
please stay tuned. Uh, if you want to hit that little bell icon, you can do that. But in the meantime, this is Ken, W6BZY, bidding you a good day.